Hello, this is Ness Tilson. I'm making this little video just to show you quickly how to make a cabinet with a fixed panel in alignment with the door. Here we have a cabinet. It could be a corner cabinet, for instance. We have a fixed panel here. We, if I put a door on it, and this door is aligned with that fixed panel and set in like that to the cabinet. Now this is a question which comes up quite often because when you're making a corner cabinet, of course, you need a fixed panel somewhere for the door to be hinged onto and to cover the next bit of furniture that's moving along the other direction. So how do we do that easily and quickly and in a way that we can manage the dimensions of the fixed panel? Let's have a look. Now the best way to create a cabinet with a fixed panel in alignment with the door or a facade element is to use a freeform cabinet. Let's see how to do that. I'm going to start a cabinet here and instead of taking one of the basic shapes I'm going to take a free shape cabinet. I'm going to do edit here and let's start a completely new cabinet here. Now to start a new cabinet I'm just going to click somewhere left hand side here, go up I can see my coordinates here, but it's much easier if I put myself in relative coordinates, kind of put myself in relative angle coordinates. And like that, I'll be able to give the exact sizes of uh, each line. So, for instance, if I want 550 as the depth of my cabinet, I can put 550 here. I can go right. If I want 600 as the width of my cabinet, I can put 600 here. And if I put my mouse over the line, of course, we will see the lengths of the lines. And these lines are now going to represent the sides of our cabinet. Using the grid, I can just go down and snap to this level here. And now, instead of closing this shape and making a rectangular cabinet, I'm going to put an extra point in here. Just click here. Now, the position of this point, as we can see up here, is 400, 400 millimeters from the last point. So I'll put my mouse over here. I see 400. And now, what I can do is I can click here on this little icon, close the line to close the shape of the cabinet. Now, we've actually got this square, or this rectangle, shall we say, made up of, uh, instead of four segments, five segments. And as you can imagine, I'm going to put on this segment, we're going to use it as the fixed panel. Now, before we go on, we have to qualify the lines as panel types. So I'm going to click on, the back, on, on this back line here and call it the back of my cabinet. I'm going to click on this line here and call it a side of my cabinet. This line here... I'm going to call it the front of my cabinet and this line here I'm going to call it I'm going to make it as a, in the same way that I would make a side of the cabinet so I'm going to call it a side and this is also a side so we've got in fact uh, three sides and one of the sides is the fixed panel and we can see that the length is given here 200 if I want to move it we can move it across here for instance here we've got 250 etc now if I just click OK the cabinet's going to come up like this of course, the cabinet remains parametric, so we can always change the sizes. We can change the height. If we want 1 meter 20 as a height of this cabinet, no problem. Okay, so let's go okay, and we'll see what this gives us. Now, this cabinet has come up with its fixed panel. Now, if I put a door on it, I click here and put a door, put a door, the door will come in, and it will be aligned with my fixed panel. So if we have a look in 3D, we can see what this looks like. So let's go click over here, and have two 3D and 2D tabs. So now we can see that the door is actually aligned with the panel. By default, Polyboard has put the, put the um, hinge line along the right hand side. That's very easy to change. If I go over here, select the door. So go, let's just select the door here. And we can see the um, fitting side is side one. If I put it, if the fitting side is side three, we can see it switches, switches over to the other side. And if I look at it in 3D, if I open the door, we can see how it opens. So that's the way to do it. Now, this particular design, is, we can see that the top is actually overpassing. If I want to change the top uh, to sort of underpassing size, of course, I can just change the uh, basic style of the construction, make it a H style. If you're using our polyboard quick design libraries, it becomes a H style. And we can see there's a mitre as well between these two sides. Now, that's not a very convenient joint, but if I just click on the side here, I can see it's linked to the side. The other side is here, side two, and we can just make it for overpassing, for instance, overpassing. Like that can be symbol like that in screwed in. 
So we can see that this is quite easy way of doing this. Um, and what's also quite cool about this way of doing it is that if we want to modify the panel uh, size here, we can just go into the cabinet again, because if we look up here, we've got on the right hand side properties, we've got a shape properties and the shape properties can be edited. If I click edit, and we can see, for instance, this, this particular position, if I say here we've got 250, right? if I want to modify this position, I can just drag this point to another point, and we can give it will give it give it another length. We can use coordinates here. If I put myself on relative coordinates, instance, I will now have this position. By changing the coordinate position here, I can change the size of the door. For instance, dynamically, if I put 300, the door is now 300 wide. If I click OK, dynamically, Polyboard has updated the door size. Um, which is quite cool because it makes it very easy to, to, to set up and as well what's happening here is of course we can just we can just go on editing this cabinet just as normal so we can put in mobile shelves we can put in whatever we want here and the cabinet will just be as normal the mobile shelves will fit in properly and if we add hardware and whatever we want so let's just a hardware style here for some let fix hardware styles the hardware will be added as normal As this is a side panel, the hardware links rules is actually creating the same machining as if it was another side. So we're actually getting the shelf pegs coming in here, which could be useful, um, or you can get rid of them. No big deal. OK, uh, that's a little trick to get door aligned with a fixed panel very easily. And um, I hope it's been helpful. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.